Knowing how to make your own bar bending schedule table is about understanding the basic formula which I'm going to be showing you in this video. So if you are ready to understand the basic, mm -hmm. just stick and watch this. What's up guys, my name is Faiz and you're welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step process or procedure on how to make your own bar bending schedule. So before I get started, if you're just watching this video for the first time, you're welcome and if you've been in the channel for a long while you're welcome back so i'm just going to be showing you the things you really need to understand from the basic now so before i do that i want you guys to kindly subscribe to the channel because it helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm just subscribe and give this video a thumbs up button so people can actually notice this video and you know we just create our own community and then we start sharing our thoughts through the internet so the first thing you learn what you really need to know is just like what is a bar bending schedule like why are you, why are you creating the bar bending schedule like who is to prepare the bar bending schedule then we move into knowing what a cover crank then we go deep into the reinforcement detail you know we go into the beam detail we go into the section then we go into the bar bending schedule table itself so I want you guys to actually stick and watch this video today. Okay, so what's up guys, welcome back and I'm just gonna be starting with the first thing I actually want you to do. Like, what is a bar bending schedule? A bar bending schedule is just a table, you know, showing you the amount of reinforcement used in each of the structural elements in an overall construction output. Just for you to know the amount of reinforcement you're using in a beam, a colon, a foundation pad, a slab, um, elements you know those things are structural elements so just for you to know the amount of reinforcement you are needed for you to know the type and size for you to know the, the numbers of the member the length and the shape like that is just it. so why are you actually doing this the main reason you're doing that is just in the definition for you to know the amount of reinforcement and normally it actually saves time in terms of constructional works you know also it is in the proper management of the project you know stuff like that like, these are just the little thing i just want you to know just the basic things so like who is to prepare the table seriously anyone can actually prepare the table as long as you understand how it is meant to be you know prepared for a certified civil engineer or structural engineer is meant to do this thing so if you're actually a civil engineer watching this video i want you to just take and you know know the basic thing before you move deep into some you know advanced details so that's just so the first thing i actually want to explain to you is what a cover is a cover is just the the spacing you are leaving between your concrete and the reinforcement so from here to here is known to be the cover that is just it the cover is also here the cover is here you know just to you know improve one the fire resistance of the member like so that whenever the building gets into you know fire or stuff like that like everything will not just collapse and you know it's also work in hand with doing the reinforcement rather it's also work in hand with the reinforcement and um, that is just how <laughs> the structural members are created like reinforcement because concrete is equal to anything actually what great so the crank is just this you know you bending the the reinforcement at the end of you know at the end of the cover like this other side and then this other side that is just the cranking and then the reinforcement detail now let's just go into the reinforcement detail you know you all know this to be the top reinforcement and it is going to be making that to be a 3 y 16 Let's make it go one and i expect you guys to actually know what this is um, i mean what this is so i'm trying to say um 10 y 10 or 3 at 300 this means i'm trying to say that 10 numbers of y thing i mean diameter or the y um, type y diameter of 10 um benchmark 03 at 300 center center so 10 of this is needed to align at 
300 so the distance between here and there should be 300 300 300 and 10 of it is needed along that span so that is just what that means so let's make this to be the top this one let's make it to be 3y16 also I will call this O2 then we'll make it to be the bottom then this is known to be the link now this is where this information comes into place and now the link is just to hold both the top reinforcement and the bottom reinforcement together so there's nothing actually deep into that so let's say we're making um, the link like, um, let's make it like A Y thing that will be O3 in at let's say 200 center to center so for the beam detail let's you know we are actually um, doing the reinforcement detail so that is it that's it for you to know the number of press let's say this is um 100 mm 1000 mm rather and this is 225 mm. Hope you understand that. No, that is 225 mm. So you can just divide the distance by the center to center you actually want to make. It. So if you're making this to be, that will be 1000 divided by 200. So that should give you how oh, many? Five, right? Now that should give you five so that means five of this is needed at the center of 200 Hope you understand so from here one two three four you understand what i'm trying to say so that is that is just how you need to do that and then um, for the section detail you can see that i wrote here as section ea and then you have the section ea here so let's make you know the width of the beam to be 450 and then we make this to be 2.5 so these details are just gonna be working later like we're gonna we're still gonna be making use of the details i'm trying to say now later and that is just how it is so this is just the link so here we have um the O3 just to make it the benchmark and then since we're making this to be 3 of y16 we can actually make you know the, the show the reinforcement here because we're making that to be three also and then the bottom also we're making it to be three so that is how you that is how you do that this is the link you know the top So that is just you know the basic thing about that and um let's just go and go into the back then they schedule table itself so the number is just number one hope you understand that and the first one we're doing is the o1 the benchmark o1 now why are you putting the benchmark the benchmark is just for you to know that okay we're talking about this top reinforcement which is the o1 so the type and the size the type is known to y to be y and um the size which is this is known to be 16. So the number of the member is actually three. So three of the Y16 is needed. So I put in three here. And the length, that is where we need to start the calculation. So let's just start it. Let's see the length of one. That is what we want to calculate. Now I told you that we are leaving a cover here, which is just the distance between the concrete and the beginning of the reinforcement. So if this is one meter, let's say one meter, and we are leaving a cover of 50, yes. yeah, let's stick with, no, normally for a beam detail, you are using 40 mm for your concrete cover, but just let's, let's just make some provisions for that, so let's make it 50, so we are leaving 50 here, we are leaving 50, that means we are subtracting 100 from this 1000. You understand that so we are getting 900 as that as from here to here so for us to know the length of this cracking the, the crank rather the formula you use is 4d which is just um, 4 multiplied by the diameter of 
you know, first one is 4 times 16. So, hope you get that, like 4 times 16. Okay? But let's just make the provision for anything like getting. But let's just make the crank to be 50 mm. As, let's just try to make that. Like, I'm not. You get another thing here, but let's just make a provision for this. Like, let's just make it like 50 mm straight forward so we can actually get what we want to get. You know, sometimes you just need to make some provisions for some things in terms of anything can actually happen at the sides. But we're not we are not just working towards a kind of um, accurate something. We're working towards how anything can actually happen at the side. So let's just make provisions for that. So for you to get them, um, now we are making the crank to be 50, right? And we're making a crank here and a crank here. That means we're making 50 plus another 50 and then that is going to be giving us 100 again so we are, we are adding the crank and the length of the reinforcement which is just 900 plus 100 and then so the L of 1 is going to be giving us 1000 and then which is same thing as what 1 meter so the length is what 1000 and then and the shape is just something you can actually see like this like this so you just have to draw your shape out so the same the same thing actually goes to the second one and the same thing actually goes to the second one because it is the same thing like from here to here and so the two and um, the benchmark O2 the same thing as Y16, 3 of it is also needed. So it's going to be 1 meter, 1 meter rather. And, but the shape is just going to be different. It's going to be facing up like this. So let's just go to the third one, which is the cranking. So in terms of the cranking, we are leaving 50 also here. 50 also here, 50 also here, 50 also here. So let's just say we want to know the length of this side. And the L2, let's call it L2, the whole length of the beam lies. The width of the beam is known to be 450, right? And we're leaving 50 here, 50 here. That means 450 minus 100 mm, which is going to be giving us 350 mm. So from here to here is 350 and from here to here is 350. And it is known to be two, right? So we're making it to like times two for this and for this. So we can say 350, 350, 0, 0, right? 1, this is 6, plus this one is 7. So that is what 700 mm. So for this other side, the whole length is known, let's call it FD. The whole length is known to be 225. And we're subtracting 100 from it. So we are getting what well, like that, we are getting 125. So 125 times 2 is equal to that is um, 125, 125. This is 0, 1, this is 4, this is 5, and then this is 2, right? So we are getting 250 there. So the whole length from year to year to year to year is going to be 750 plus 250 which is this is 0 this versus is 0 1 that is 1 which is which is 100 mm right this is 1000 mm rather that's 1 meter so for you to know the cranking the cranking is just 4d like but we're making a provision of 50 mm for that like we're making it to be 50 mm so we are going to be cranking it here and we're going to be you know just for us to be able to tie the link together so let's just say we are adding 100 again to the cranking so plus 100 it's going to be giving us one one oh oh what is also 1.1 meters so we're putting this to be 03 the benchmark is going to be y10 like in here and the numbers of it which is needed like five of it is needed which i just put to be easy so let's just put five there that is what we want to do five 
and then you're needing one one o o m m for the guy who says one point one meters and the ship is just going to be taken from this this so that is just all you actually basically need to know about it so you know actually thank you guys for watching to this stage and you know kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and um, you know we're just making civil engineering and architecture um drawings and all this stuff here so i just expect you guys to kindly you know comment down if you did not understand anything and you know i'm just making a shout out to to ip to be because it was that it was the one that actually you know asked me to make something like this and i was like i think it's a good idea so i want you guys to actually do that also for me just for me to make some shout outs you know love you all and <laughs> thank you everyone of you for subscribing to the channel like let me just write it like subscribe to my name is Fai so i don't know why a lot of you guys can actually put p h y i z e <laughs> i don't know why a lot of you guys can actually pronounce my name but I want you to please subscribe to the channel and drop your own thoughts. Thank you all.